What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, Debos? What's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube? First of all, girl, listen, let me tell you, if I pass out on this camera right now, just know that this waist trainer has got to be a few sizes too small. You know, I was I was doing a video prior to this. Okay, I did a wig video. That's why I got this wig on, girl. And I wanted to show how I would pair with the outfit. You know, I got to look cute for y'all. I got to make sure I look neat and put together. So, of course, I put my waist trainer on. But, baby, girl, child. I don't feel like I'm doing it like it's my V-Day right now. I feel like my skin, my whole body is going numb. Like, I seriously need to breathe, okay? And y'all can't even see the lower part of me, so just bear with me. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. And they said, beauty is pain. Because, girl, I feel like I need to go to the ER. I feel like I didn't have my stomach pushed up to where my heart is at. Let me tell y'all, beauty is definitely pain. And so is trying to look good, okay? Thank God y'all don't see the lower part of me. Because I had to let it out. I had to breathe. I swear I felt like I was getting... Like, you know when your hands are going numb, you, they start feeling cold? That's how I started feeling. Like, I started feeling cold. Like, the, the waist trainer was sucking up, literally sucking the life out of me. The waist trainer was literally sucking the life cold. out of me. Girl, listen, I, I don't like know if it was the waist trainer or just me not being able to breathe as normal, but it was either the one or the two. One plus one definitely equals two, so it definitely was. Right, so I hope y'all having, like, a really amazing day. Hope y'all ain't passing out from no waist trainers or any type of fashion trends that there is. But I wanted to share this with you guys because I know y'all seen it all over, okay? I know y'all seen this website called Timu all over. Like, the ads are amazing. Like, I like the ads really a lot. And I kind of do like ads, especially when I'm watching, like, streaming TV, like Hulu. My kids don't really like the ads, but it reminds me of commercials. They're like commercials. And who don't like a good ad? I mean, like, if you keep showing me the same one over and over and over again, especially, like, those medical ones, okay? Like, birth control and all that. Like, I keep seeing the same one. Like, okay, I get it, okay? I get it. We all do. But I like Timo's ad because, for one, their prices are, like, amazing. And I'm loving it. Like, seriously, I'm not really sure why people are comparing it to Shein because they're totally different but they have like the best prices ever like who don't want to buy something for a dollar i'm just saying and you can get some free shipping depending on what you're spending girl who don't like something for a dollar it was like about a week and a half when i received the order and when i tell you it was like nicely placed into my mailbox bright orange bag okay like look at this this is so darn aesthetically pleasing. Like, you know if somebody's trying to run off with your shit. Like, because this bag is so warm. You know, there's some stuff in here that a girl is ready to try out. But I will definitely link all the information, the things that I purchased down below. But girl, there's so much more stuff than what I got. You ain't even going to be interested in what I got. I mean, maybe you will, maybe you won't. I don't know. But let's just share everything that I got in this package. I did try on the two clothing items. I was kind of like on the fence about getting anything clothing-wise. But a girl checked the size and chart. Like, that's what you always have to do with these websites like Timu or AliExpress or even Amazon, girl. Look at the size and, size and charge. Measure yourself because that's how you're going to get the best size. Don't just guesstimate. Like, guesstimating, like, oh, I guess I can go up a size or two. Because, honey, child, that is not going to work. So, let's get into this Timu haul, you guys. Yeah, like, a lot of stuff for, like, $100. Like, when I tell you $100, I'm not saying that this stuff was $100, but, girl, listen, I do be overfilling my cart. My cart. I do be overfilling my cart, okay? Let Run it over, all right? But I did get two clothing items, and I did try this on. Now, one for one, I'm not really sure if it's supposed to fit this way, but I did order it, like, according to the size chart. And then I, I did guesstimate, like, a little bit, because I was, like, really not believing the size chart. But I thought it was really, really cute, and it's a flannel jacket. I mean, I guess you could wear it as a button-up. It would be kind of big as a button-up, but it's a flannel jacket, and it has, like, this flannel material. And I thought it was really cute. So it is kind of on the looser side. And the darn thing about it is there's no size inside of the shirt. Like, where's the size tag at? Oh, all over here. I got it in a size 3XL, and I definitely could have got a 2X, but I'll show you guys how it fits. But I definitely could have got it in a 2X. 
But I guess if you wanted to layer it, it would definitely be cute. I do like the feel of it. The, the, the make of it, the way they created it is decent. You know, I don't any, I don't see any type of flaws. It fit well. It is kind of on the baggy side. And when I tried it on, it didn't go with anything that I had on at the time. I was wearing sweats and like this raggedy old t-shirt and my hair was in a scarf. So like definitely wasn't appealing at that moment in time. It wasn't giving me anything, but girl, you look like a vagabond. I do like the way it's made. It does have the two breast pockets right here, which is great. It has buttons and it's pretty lengthy, you know? I just felt like it kind of was a little bit too big on me and I I definitely could have downsized but that is the thing about guesstimating you definitely don't want to really do that just like I said but I'd rather have it too big than too small and for the life of me some reason for some darn reason I'm thinking I'm thinking like for some reason that this might shrink a little bit so I'm definitely going to wash it in cold water and allow it to air dry just like I do all my clothes because the girl ain't got no dryer and I ain't trying to spend money on one either I also got a cardigan an olive green cardigan to replace the one that I cannot find that I don't even know where it's at in my closet and I didn't even get a chance to wear it since I bought it last year and when I did try to place it and piece it with an outfit that I have well girl I had to change it up because God knows where the cardigan is at by now it's somewhere in my closet but I don't know where okay so I got this one to replace it and I thought it was rather cute especially because this one had a hood unlike the one that I had which I probably wouldn't even want it to wear it this year anyway because it like kind of had that shredded material it has two buttonholes and there isn't any pockets which was a Debbie Downer because I love a good pocket and any type of cardigan or sweater jacket but I do like that it was well made it's not like some type of flimsy ass knitted material it's decent it's well made and it's kind of put together also I got in a 3XL but the one thing about this is it's kind of like just fitting on the sleeve area like the sleeves are just fitting they're kind of like girl they just fit in okay they just fit in. but I still found I look cute in this so I definitely like this a whole lot and I was glad that I chose this it's really well made and out here in Arizona you don't really need too much of a winter coat I mean at least I don't now let's get on to the fun stuff like you know the little stuff the handheld stuff like girl listen okay let me put it all out here for you sunglasses I love me some sunglasses I got me like a nice sunglass collection like you know what I'm saying I love a good pair of sunglasses honey child you guys so let's check out the first pair of sunglasses that I have right here. They come in these cute little handy dandy handheld case. And I like my sunglasses to be oversized because my face is long, like my head is long. Let's just be straight to the point about that. Be for real, let's be for real about it. Definitely love a good pair of black sunglasses. These are cute. They're very lightweight. They're definitely lightweight. Let's see. For the most part, they're really lightweight and I do like the shape of them. All right, so let's check out the next pair. I don't remember what they look like, to be honest. Okay, so these are super lightweight. I like the color of these. These are really, really lightweight. You have a pair of glasses that are so lightweight that you feel like they're gonna be, they break. This tint is really, really nice. I do like this brown tint. I do like the color of them. They have like these little balls at the ends of them. I do like the detail on these. These are really cute. Oh, child, yes. These are the ones, baby. You do it like it's your day. Okay, so out of all yeah, three like pairs, do you see the little diamond, diamonds in the rough on the side? I like the shape of them. I like the color of them. They also are lightweight as well. I like these little gems on the side though. Girl, I like, look, I love sparkly, okay? I love sparkly. Definitely a cute pair of glasses. So these are going to be my favorites. And I might have to keep these in my car, baby. Do it like it's your B-Day. And the little bag, the little clutch is cute too. It's like a little faux clutch. Really, really cute. So this one right here is a faux fur heart-shaped pink rug. This is gonna go in front of Tato's crib. You know, my little granddaughter, Nevea. We call her Potato, so Tato for short. This is gonna go in front of her crib. Isn't this cute? I didn't realize it was that small, but it's, I guess it's perfect for her and her little area. So look at that, really, really cute. You know, I thought this would be cute also, for her. So I did get a set of barrettes for Tato because you know, she's a little girl. I finally got me a little granddaughter. She put a little barrette and stuff in her hair. They got like the cutest barrettes on their website. When I tell you the cutest barrettes on their website, girl, get your fix of barrettes. If you got granddaughters, nieces, goddaughters, whatever, get you some barrettes. These are so effing cute. And they're just cute because look at the little pull string. And they got these cute little faces all over them. Kind of like little flat back charms. These are not too big, so they definitely could fit in her little big head. Girls, okay. Oh, these are adorable. I'm not really sure how many come with it, but you also have like a little container where you can put them after you're done. Look at that cute little container. And I think this was like $2, you know what I mean? They have like the cutest effing stuff, I'm telling you. You could just like go ham on that website and buy like all kind of things. to the next thing. So, you know, 
I don't know about y'all, but I can't reach my back in the shower to wash it like that. Like, I mean, I can get some areas, but a girl can't get all the areas she wants. So I do have like these scrubbing brushes for your back and I love them, but I thought I would try this one out from the website. It comes in like, I think five different colors and it's like a silicone type material and it just has like the little brushes on the opposite side. And then on this side, it's kind of like flat, but this is easy because you could just take this and go back and forth and get all the nitty gritty off your back area. Oh. I'm not sure if you guys seen in one of my videos, like I love gibbets, I love freaking Crocs, I love Crocs. I don't have a lot of Crocs, I have eight pairs, but or eight or nine pairs, but I freaking love Crocs. And whenever they have a sale, I'm, I'm there. And I like to gibbet them out, like every hole in my Crocs shoe is filled with a gibbet and it's kind of like a theme thing for me. So they have like the cutest gibbets, like you can buy them from other places like Etsy, or you can buy them single, or you can buy them on Amazon, but girl, honey, chat, listen. I'd rather get them from certain different websites because you can get more for your money. So this one right here is a bunch of cute little lavender color ones. I just need to have gibbets on standby, like seriously. And I do definitely have gibbets on standby, but I need like more, okay, more. And they're just like a rainbow, kind of like girly unicorns, rainbows, hair bows, and stuff like that. That's what this one was. And they was fairly cheap, like probably like $2 or something like that, you know, somewhat like that. Girl, listen, I love gibbets. I also got another bag of gibbets. These have like makeup, um, hair curlers, things like that. I love gibbets. But I also got this bag here. It's just a girly bag with all girly, girly stuff in it, like diamonds and lips and makeup. Um, how many come in this bag? 47 pieces in this bag. I think it was like five dollars don't give me the line but there's like a whole collection of gibbets shoe charms whatever you want to call it on their website and i also got two packs of the sanrio ones you know hello kitty i got two packs of those they come in each pack comes 20 pieces and on each um crop there's 13 holes so you need to have 26 so i did get two extra packs these are so effing cute now look at little hello kitty i loved hello kitty as a kid you know she was one of my faves and definitely have to get some Hello Kitty stuff. They do have like loads of makeup, but girl, they go super fast. You gotta hurry up and get their makeup because certain colors I noticed on um, Timu, their colors sell quick and they have a lot to look at. So I did get this matte lip collection right here and um, they got all different brands and they have plenty of brands with almost the same color. But girl, when I tell you that their colors will sell out quick, they'll sell out quick. These are cute little collection of lipsticks. Okay, matte, matte lipstick. Let's show, choose this mauve color. These are definitely my colors, all right? Okay, not a bad color, not a bad color. A little bit more pink than I would have expected. Let's try this one. Oh, I'm just trying to dull the color down now. Okay, not bad. So the, the colors aren't bad. The consistency isn't bad either. I like the little one. It has like a sweet scent to it. Decent, I'm not really sure how long you're gonna be able to keep it on, how long it's gonna stay on your lips. But for the price point, I mean, listen, even if you have like a huge makeup collection, these are still good. Like they got like a whole bunch of stuff. Girl, I love websites like that. Like seriously, I do like the website. Cause they have a little bit of everything or sometimes a whole bunch of everything. Y'all already know me, okay? Y'all seen my last video when um, it was a 2023 video. I did show y'all some pictures in the video of my new bracelet collection that I'm coming out with. I have created them. When I say I've created them, meaning I've sat there and I've strung each bead on each string. I have designed it, meaning I have the pattern, some of the charms, the little glass charms are created by myself. So I have been doing a lot of research on bracelets and they do have, you know, also buying extra materials. I've had a huge bead and charm collection for the past like 16 years. And I stopped making bracelets like 13 years ago or jewelry rather 13 years ago. I just restarted again and I did also purchase a whole lot of new inventory, a lot of new charms, a lot of new beads, just a whole lot of inventory in general. So I did notice that Timu also do, do sell, also does sell craft items like beads and such. I wasn't really sure about the quality, but I just said, let me give it a try because it is a little bit cheaper than some of the items that I did notice and purchase from Amazon because I do frequent Amazon as well sometimes, only for certain things. Um, but I did want to get one of these polymer clay um, spacer sets from Amazon a while ago. I just wanted to try them out. Now I'm not really, oh, they gave me a good thread. They gave me the crystal. It is the polymer clay spacer set and they are decent, pretty decent. Um, there's a variety of colors in them, which are great. I'm not really, I definitely won't use like the ABCDs at the bottom, but it came with a nice little case right here, which is great. And like I said, there's a great color selection. Um, there are some colors that I would have liked to have like white and black, but that's okay. I, like I said, I just wanted to try this out. And I also did get a couple of things 
for my crafts, like for my bead making. A um, couple of things I wasn't really too fond of, um, but I also did get like these ones right here, which I do like a lot. These are more or less like the hieroglyphic kind of like, I don't know if that's what you want to call them, but they have like these really pretty tints to them. They're clear. And I, I have these already from, you know, doing my shopping. And I like the reflections. It gives off like, you know, like hieroglyphic type of reflections. So I did get two bags of those and these are really good. They come with 50 in the bag. Some faux flowers um, for arts and crafts. These cute little charms that you can put on bracelets for little girls, which are some cute little teddy bears. If you can see that my hands are ashy, so don't talk about them. Unfortunately, you can't see them, but they are really, really cute. And then I'm gonna show you the bracelets that I got. So yeah, I know I make my own bracelets, but girl, listen, you always gotta check out the competition. You gotta see how they, how they do things. That's just in my book. So yeah, I did get some of their faux Pandora style bracelets. And these are really, really cute. These are cute. Little Pandora style bracelet. I do like it. It fits well. You have, to, you have an extension piece in the back. And these are cute. I think these are like $3. Then I got another one with different charms on it right here. Really cute, you know, heart and such. This rose gold one. This one right here is pretty decent. I like the color of this. Okay, and then the last item out of this mix right here is this stretch bracelet, which comes with four bracelets. So they come on this nice little tab. Mm, they giving me ideas, baby. Giving me ideas. Okay, and look, like I said, I like to check out other people's work. These are cute. These are really, really cute. Good quality. So you guys, so you guys, so you guys, so you guys. I hope you enjoyed that Timu haul. Really small Timu haul. It was a hit or miss with some things. Oh, so you guys, I love you all. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, girl. And I will see y'all in the next one, honey. Bye.